<laughs> this is our interview with him. Oh, we got another guest here, Christian. Let's go. Okay. Find the homies coming through. More and more homies. Bro, we got the last guest we had. Didn't know a lot about the sport, but got into it with the World Cup. This next guest knows a lot about the sport and got into it because he owes really the main sponsor of this show, DraftKings, a lot of money. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is okay. He's he's here to you know make do. You know, <laughs> he's to really to, to show to show face. This is part of his vig. <laughs> I yeah. <laughs> need a promo. Yeah. Help me. So the voice you're hearing, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, one of the funniest people we know, Alex Pavone. I don't know. Alex. I across. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, felt, right. It yeah. felt right. Like it the felt right. It felt right. Fourth up the bat. That's what here. I do with, before every parlay. Please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. To the, to the DraftKings. This is the Welcome. first. This is the first yeah. like big, like this is the first person we've had on our show that like really understands gambling. And I'm really interested in how that works during the World Cup. Oh, okay. good this World yeah. Cup. Good this World Cup. A lot of upsets. Is that why? A lot of upsets. A lot of, lot of, I generally will not lay a lot of money on favorites because, you know, when you're, when you're taking a big favorite, it makes no sense. Right. You're going to risk $200 to win $100, let's just say, right, right, if you're betting that. So you got to risk it on the underdog. So that, or you could do the, the uh, you, could, you could bet on a draw and then the draw no bet. So you could take the underdog to win. And if they don't win, it's a void bet. Because, but if there's a draw, you win that. So you could okay. you could sort of like hedge your bets that way. And this tournament's been pretty good for 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 underdogs. So is that right, why we, is that why I'm on? By the way, <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, oh, no, no, God, no. what are we going to talk about? And then you're like gambling. I'm like, here we go. Yeah. Then he like a, stop talking for 17 minutes. Like yeah, a prairie yeah, dog. Look, I'm like, not, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> not only is uh you know uh, uh Pavone a uh you know an experienced gambler, he's also a hilarious comedian and also. An unbelievable midfielder played on Cool Against FC for multiple seasons. My man can ball. Can we get you bigger and just him out? I yeah. like that <laughs> whole. I like that whole thing. Oh, there. this is all you want is plot. <laughs> is that why you came on this hilarious, show? Hilarious, great uh, gambler. Well, not great gambler, but <laughs> but but uh, everything. I, I said like you it. were hilarious. This guy said you could play on a team of a bunch of people who's never played soccer before. I can still see the brim of your hat. Just just <laughs> out, you know, a bit, just out a bit. <laughs> uh, and and he's also Canadian, so I I think we should start there and talk about Canada's uh there it is there it is we we the north <laughs> that's us let's go uh let can, let's can we reflect a little bit on Canada's time uh at the world cup obviously the you know their first world cup in a very very long time your lifetime uh, uh yeah i was born in 86 so, so yeah that was the that was the last time they were in yeah pretty much so it's been so, you've been uh, the curse. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If you if you look at it that way, yes, yeah. I am the problem. I'm the I'm the reason they haven't qualified. How do how do you feel about their uh, their time uh, in, in Qatar? First game was uh, came out the gates guns ablazing. Missed the, missed the missed the penalty kick. Should have won that game. And then, you know, Croatia was a bit of a disappointment. And then Morocco, we had them in the second half. We we sh we should have tied, but. Um, but then you look at the semis and you're like, oh, we were in the group of death. We we had the group of death. You know we what? had the two semifinals. If you would have said this like first week of the of the World Cup, I would have been like, look at this guy I know, right? trying to get a little bit of respect. But now when you look back, you might not be wrong. No. Yeah. Not at all. By far the toughest group. I think so. I think Belgium was the worst team in the group. And they yeah. were the second ranked team in in, in the world, right? So were they not? So, so this is a conversation English. Christian and I had, and I think you and I might have texted about this. But now looking back, you didn't win any games. No. You scored a goal, right? Two goals. Two goals. One uh, was Davies uh, and an own goal, right? An own goal, Morocco. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And he's Canadian. So the, keeper? the, the fix was in a little bit. Yeah, he was yeah, like, yeah. The hey. keeper's like, look, I don't represent your country, but I'll, let, but I'll I, put the hands up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for letting me be yeah, born yeah, there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, whoopsie hey, daisy. Hey, that for for a couple of weeks wasn't bad. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. There it goes. So this is, this is the true... <laughs> Question. Now looking back, was this a good World Cup for Canadian soccer? Yes, because we were there and just being there and being competitive. But don't you think you were good enough to deserve more? You were top of the group in qualifying. Yeah, but it's a completely uh, yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. It's different. It's now now the pressure's on and now every team is playing at, at you know, their best players and desperate and they want to win. I think it's a bit different. And the, and you don't the, think teams wanted to qualify. You don't think Mexico wanted to qualify. You don't think Honduras wanted to qualify. You don't think us wanted to qualify. No, they did. They did. But it, it was, there's, there's, 
there's more of a leeway in the qualifying than there is in the World Cup. You have one bad game, you're potentially out of the, the tournament, but right. in qualifying, it's it's years, right? Right. And and that I think is something that you know, there's less pressure in that. But in and the World also, Cup also also the advantage that Canada had in playing several of their qualifying games in Three degree weather. Exactly. Oh, yeah. no, for sure. Against in Mexico. A, in a, a Pixar little... film about <laughs> yeah. dog sledding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In Alberta. <laughs> yeah, I've, yeah. I've never seen a guy like slide, miss a slide tackle and then throw a snowball at the guy's <laughs> head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just had it ready to go. Yeah, it's yeah, dangerous. And they get mad at us when we play in Minnesota. These guys are playing north of Minnesota. Yeah, it's far. Edmonton, <laughs> I remember that. The ice bowl, what do they call it? The ice bowl or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. Bet I bet on that game. I will tell you I bet on that game. I took I took Canada on that game. The Mexicans were they were freezing. It was. It wasn't even the game didn't even start. They were like, oh, "Deal me," and I'm like, "Okay, let's let's hammer this." Yeah, yeah. Call up Nona. He's like, "Your phone's flipping out of your hand. You can't even get it." I'm like, "Put Nona's house on the line. Let's go." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's refinance her mortgage. I saw Terry Bradshaw talking about it on TV. But uh, when you look at when you look at uh, who in Canada stood out, obviously Alfonso Davies. We already knew. We didn't know he could play every position on the field, which he had to. Yeah. But who else stood out? Who who did you walk away from going like, hey, yo, we got a gamer here? I thought I thought uh, Buchanan, but I already knew he was good. He was, but he but shined he, at a level he much bigger than he, we thought. He definitely shined. Yeah. He was definitely unbelievable. Yeah. I thought our keeper was not good. Um, uh, not when he was not when he took the sweatpants off. <laughs> no, <laughs> when, yeah, that, yeah. when that kid looked like he was taking the garbage out. Oh, what a keeper! <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, you could laugh on microphone. Yeah, by the sorry, way, sorry, sorry. Let people know I'm funny. I don't know. <laughs> You've done this before. Um, Buchanan was wicked. Um, I, I thought the uh, the kid from Porto, the, that kid's awesome, incredible. Yeah, Stakia. 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 yeah he's yeah. wicked. And I also thought the the both uh, wing the backs were good. The guy with the weird looking like he looked like uh, the uh, dude uh, from. Uh, yeah, Alistair you know, Johnston. Doesn't uh, even look who, like he's no. from Space Jam. Alistair Johnson, I think, got on like the worst eleven for really? the World Cup. Yeah, no, he played pretty good. No, I'm being serious. He got I on think the worst I think 11. he signed with someone good after the tournament. Uh, with Celtic, he's he just signed with yeah, Celtic. He was pretty good. Yeah. The Boston Celtics. Jesus, <laughs> congratulations! <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> there you go. And, ooh, and it's green too. Yeah. And uh, no, what's his name? <laughs> the the, the black kid on the right. Uh, he plays for Toronto FC. I thought he was pretty good too. I I think he played pretty well. Um, um, defender. Oh, Richie oh, Larea. Yeah, Larea. I thought he played really well. Yeah, I yeah. thought he played really well. Richie too. Larea, Ricky Larea, Richie Larea. Richie. Um, uh, I thought. Uh, well, I th and and uh, John Herdman, the coach, obviously he he got into a uh, little thing after the loss to Belgium. He did say uh, that he was asked about the game, and and he was just ba basically said, you know, we're gonna move forward, but we're gonna we're gonna. F Croatia right afterwards. I don't know if you saw those comments. I did. But he said we're not, gonna fuck Croatia. It, yeah, Which well, is one, a not, weird way know, of saying you're going to beat a team. <laughs> <laughs> where, where that isn't typical. He's not Canadian. No, and that's, that isn't that's what we were all saying. We're like, yeah, <laughs> fucking Scottish yeah, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like, Those fucking Scottish get out of hand, don't they? <laughs> this hitting the iron bruise. He's talking we're not like looking. that. <laughs> <laughs> that's not in our culture, Yeah, we know, that, that, the Scottish came out of them yeah, in that yeah. one. We can't, we can't do anything about we're that. We're more of an apologizing be, culture. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You should be apologizing to Belgium for them beating you. Yeah. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. That... <laughs> Buddy, I, I, what do you think of Herdman? Because one of the stats that we've talked about a lot on the show um, is that no foreign manager has ever won the World Cup. So usually you only win the World Cup when you have a manager from your country or a coach from your country. Granted, Canada's not up to win the World Cup. Yeah, we didn't think we were going to win the World Cup. <laughs> no, so. no, no, no. We were not blaming that yeah, in yeah. that stat. No, no. But do you think you move forward with Herdman or did Herdman open the door for some Canadian coach, someone maybe in the Canadian Premier League or something, to take the reins from him and develop that that squad. Yeah, eventually it's you know eventually it's going to be a Canadian coach. I, I I honestly don't think Canadian soccer is ready yet. It's it's still growing and evolving. There's you know everything's new. Like all these youth systems in in Canada, and you see these guys when they when they're 60 and they're turning pro or they're they're on the development league. This is all new stuff. Like when I grew up playing there. At 16 years old, you just was a couple of Italians in the park. Yeah, that's it. You go the next year, you're like, I play with the yeah. 17 year olds. It's just yeah. the lack of development. So everything, it's eventually going to catch up. But yeah, I think so, but not anytime soon. I don't think. Maybe in four years. Who knows? You know, maybe you're gonna things, you're gonna be one of the hosts. We're gonna be one of the hosts, and I think we're gonna really. I think this World Cup was 
you know, to really, really, really prepare and get our our dip our toe in the water for the next one. This because is the appetizer. We think I think so. Nice. I think so. Because I think we're gonna be our young guys who Buchanan, Davies, they're what, 21, 22? They're, Buchanan might be 26. Uh, he is not that old. Uh, he's he's early twenties uh, at best. These guys are these guys are all going to be in their prime or yeah. approaching their prime in four years. He Especially got drafted Davies. this. Why am I the looking same this up? Year, What is it, Harry? He's twenty three. Twenty three. Twenty three. Okay. He got, he got drafted the same year as uh, no, Jack peak. Harrison, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, he, the the same draft. Yeah, I think so. Either the the same year or maybe the year after or something like that. But you ever yeah, wonder if you know young. too much about MLS? <laughs> nah, 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 bro. Nah, bro. <laughs> okay. If you know it's draft just, years, <laughs> bro, it's just. It's, I, can, you know, I it's could a, have you. We could get GMs on the show that don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame I'm married because I'd be crushing it, dog. I know, dude. Right? <laughs> just mushing the women away. <laughs> Tell us another step, daddy. <laughs> like, I gotta walk my dog. Walk me. You know, there's a lot of uh, that conversation. <laughs> so, but, uh, but we had espressos before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're lit right now. I had dude. a long. I had two people who definitely. Don't don't need them. Um, the, uh, okay, so let's get into uh, the the gambling during this World Cup. Um, I, 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 Alexis, you're not much of a gambler either, right? Because I, I barely under even understand how it kind of works. There, I don't there know was, what you're talking about. I am on DraftKings every single day. I love using it, and I think you should too. Uh, use code Cooligans. You're not going to get anything, but it's going to make Levitz our love us even more. We got to get a promo code. Yeah. Okay. Let me tell you something. Sorry. Sorry to. Uh, you're not. Please. Uh, I'm going to go at not go at your sponsors a little bit, but no, here's no, no. A little... We're going to cut this. Okay. Perfect. So go for it. <laughs> cheat code. Cheat code. Cheat code. They give you boosts, right? DraftKings will suggest bets. Never take those. No bookie is ever like, here's money. Yeah. Never, <laughs> ever do the boost. Now, follow this up with how much money have you won this year gambling? Uh, this year in what? All sports? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to check. I have to go on my computer. But you've like, won money. This year, this year, I'm maybe around 500, maybe a little bit lower. But last year I did. Okay. Last year I did. I'm just saying, so maybe take a boost or two. You know, <laughs> if the kid's spending 12 hey, months no, to no, make no, no, listen. $500, maybe take a boost. So, I'll, give okay. you an I'll give you an example today. I'll give you an example today of the boost. They were offering a France win plus an Mbappe at least one goal, and it was like plus 210, but now it's they're saying it's plus 250, which means you put a dollar, you're winning $2.50. But they're upping it from two ten, which is a dollar or two dollars and ten cents. Okay? Yes. okay, so then they're all, they were offering that they were offering um, o France win and the over for the game. So there was a lot of either you either fade France, you fade the over, or you fade Mbappe goals. And okay, two of those fade, did not what, hit. What does fade mean? Before thank you, we thank you, Christian. Oh, okay, because I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> You act like we know. We don't hang out in the basements of bars during dog fights. So we don't know what these things mean. You do got a bum knee, so you're halfway know, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you I've really actually are. been to a dog fight. I apologize. I grew up in Newark. Uh, <laughs> but, Faye yeah. just means to, to go the other way of, of what they are, are suggesting. Or if, if someone's like, yo, I'm going to pick the Giants. And you're like, I'm fading that pick. You know, it's just the opposite pick. Anyways, got it, got it. today, if you would have faded the boost that they were offering, you would have went two for three. Because Mbappe didn't score. Uh, the game went under. They were suggesting the over, and France did win. So you would have won two for three if you did fade the, um, the those boos. A lot of times in gambling, it's better to not watch and just put it in and just shut it off and go for a walk, and then yeah. come back and check your account and be like, "Oh, thank God I didn't see that." <laughs> oh, oh wow, two dollars and fifty cents <laughs> instead of two dollars and ten cents. I used to bet on Russian hockey, and I used to hold um, on. Repeat that one more time. I used to bet on Russian hockey. <laughs> <laughs> but it used to be late at night or, or uh, well, yeah, I do. I still do. But it, we understand uh, how time zones work. Also, <laughs> Korean baseball, where I would just put the bets in and I just close and I go to sleep and just wake up <laughs> and check my account. Like, I. And then what do you yell? Like, we don't have rent this month. No. <laughs> yeah. I, grab, I grab a pillow and I'm like, oh. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, like, honey. God damn you, Kia yeah. Dragons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm really sorry, but the Samsungs <laughs> didn't, didn't hit a home run this week. <laughs> no, but, but, but regardless, if you gambling now is at the point where it does, they don't care about what the bets are, they're getting. All they care about is people betting because they are getting an even amount pretty much essentially right. in all sports. So all they need is action. So all the boosts and all the stuff, 
as long just as to get are, you to stay on the app, hit more buttons. As long as you gamble, they're they're gonna make money. And you it's gambled just, old school, right? Like when you had to call a guy. Yeah, that's how you started. Yeah, we still talk. He's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good, good guy. friends. He's yeah. a good kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he's a good guy. I, I, he, help, I help him with his website. Yeah. He, was, he actually he actually said something funny the other day. I was talking to him about he's talking about like, are you gonna get married? And I'm like, uh, yeah. He's like, you know, it's four months salary for a ring is what they say. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And then he and he went like this on paper. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm like, I know what you do, bro. I like this guy, dude. I'm like, I know what you do. I know, you it's, I know it's on OG, paper. OG, bro. Okay. Bro, is everyone I grew up with your bookie, dude? Oh, wow. This is great. You could be so lucky. My favorite roast joke ever was uh, when I roasted. Uh, it's a joke I wrote, by the way. Uh, I'm just preparing you that it's me. I didn't know what to say. Uh, um, what's his face? Uh, Mike Cannon just got engaged. And I said, uh, I don't know if you know this, but you know, an engagement ring is supposed to be three months salary. Uh, I don't know where he found an engagement ring for six drink tickets. <laughs> Beautiful. Hey, look at Christian laughing. Look at him. Yeah. We're going to Zoom we're fucked gonna up. We're going to Photoshop. I'm just, we're gonna I'm photoshop just glad. Him laughing in there. I'm just glad we took the time to reminisce on a <laughs> decent joke, Alexis. Buddy, said. there's no such thing as wasted time. We're talking about your own bits, you know? That's, you know, that's the point of this show. Although, by uh, the way, when I got engaged, it was two months. How the hell did it get to four? <laughs> no, I, I think In it's three. I don't know. Inflation, bro. Oh. Okay. That's it. Oh, thank God. The I women demand more. Thing. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, okay. uh, when my car got stolen, said the ring was in it. Paid it off. <laughs> I think True I know story. that story. Yeah. <laughs> couple, All right. couple laptops so, in the trunk. A lot of times, at least for <laughs> us, you know, the, the main things that people, uh, I don't know if gamble is the, the right word, but it's about predicting like the bracket, what the bracket is going to end up uh, like and what it's going to look Wait, like. Wait, is that one of them? Like you're talking about like, yeah, uh, you can predict, like March Madness kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm you can saying, predict, so, yeah, you can predict who was going to win, who was going to win, who was going to qualify, the actual order. That of, seems like that would have bad odds attached to it. Uh, Morocco, I think, to win the, the division was like plus 1,100. And I love the, the division. They won the division like it was the NL East. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, yeah. They're going. They're going to the Big Ten next year. Uh, I'm really excited for them. I'm pissed I didn't take it. <laughs> <laughs> but the pissed. fact that uh, so the fact that it ended up uh, well, we know the final. Obviously, Argentina and France. What? Uh, any? 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 Predictions, anything you're uh, from a gambler's uh, perspective, anything you're, that you're looking out for? What's or, the Pavone boost? <laughs> I, <laughs> first of all, I'd have to see the lines. I don't know what, what it would be. I would assume it's going to be a pretty even game, like from, from a lines perspective. I assume that they're both evenly matched teams. I would, to make money in that game, though, if you, if you want to just, you know, value wise, I would probably take either team to win in penalty shots because okay. it's probably going to be like a 400, like plus 400 or something like that, plus 500. And, you know, you don't have to necessarily even pick a winner. They are offering just any team to, to go to penalty, penalty kicks, and right. it could happen. I mean, I think it's going to be a pre pretty balanced game. If it doesn't, you know... I'm, you just got to look at value at that point and like okay. see what the best value is. That is one of the things about betting on soccer that's so different than other sports is you could bet on yes. the draw, you could bet on penalties. Mm -hmm. You know, Correct. it's kind of there's there's a lot more that goes into it. When Correct. what about so you're obviously a big uh, big Raptors fan. You and I talk basketball all the time. Uh, w when the Raptors won uh, the NBA Finals, were you able to gamble during that period? No, I w I wasn't. No. What yep. what what stops you from hitting that button? Is it because you don't want to bet against your own team? No, it just wasn't available at the time. I just, I didn't, I just didn't have Great. money. All right, move on to the next question. I thought, I thought you were going to give me some like heartfelt. No, 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 no. I just didn't have money at the time. Yeah, yeah but yeah, if you yeah. did, you would have gambled. On oh, I would have, I would have taken the Raptors from the jump on that on really? that series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for wow. sure, for it's sure. So hard who for they, me to. Who I can't gamble. I don't remember I who it was. They beat the Golden State Warriors. They beat Orlando. Oh. They beat Philly. They beat Milwaukee, and they beat Golden State. The Philly okay. one was the crazy shot, right? Yeah. Game seven. Okay. I have and the then, uh, World Cup odds. For yes, yes. Oh, we have the World Cup odds. Yeah. Okay, go for it, Harry. It's Argentina minus 105 or France minus 115. So it's like a and then And then, the, but wait, is, is that just to win? Or that's is just that, straight up. Um, that's the win, not the draws. That's not the 90 minutes. Yeah, they haven't released because it just happened. They haven't released the, the... And that line will move. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. If move. a lot of people start betting on Argentina, uh, they'll move it to I get people to bet on. Personally, France. I think the public's going to be on Argentina. I think people of course, think that. Messi. Yeah, that's that's what I think is going to happen. But also, like, the, when's the last time a team's gone back to back in the World Cup? Sixty years ago. Uh, in '98, Brazil. No. No, no, no. no '98, 80, France. It's sixty years. Argentina got into the final. Yeah, it took a while. Two teams haven't won it, but to go back to the final, Argentina did it in 1990. Uh, Brazil did it after that. Yeah, Argentina beat, they won in 86, and they lost to Germany yeah, in 90, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. But to win, it's been 60 years, back-to-back World Cup championships. I, I don't know, man. It's To be to be perfectly honest, it's a crapshoot. It's The best thing to do is, like, lay money down on a plus 500. Will the game be decided in extra time? Honestly. I feel like I, that okay. might be the worst thing to do. You said the best thing to do is to just... Put your money on whatever the crazy is on. <laughs> yeah, well, you can't. You yeah, can't yeah. put everything what you, you own. What can you we just record you? Uh, get, leave a note to the people who are going to lose their homes that are our fans after this. Can you just say something into the microphone? Yeah, yeah. DraftKings <laughs> loves a, this. They're like, listen, just, yeah, yeah. listen to these insane bets that this man's. Thinking yeah, I don't about. know if we need a uh, disclaimer or anything, but if people are not watch aware, the boost. Is- Watch the boost fade the boost. It's going to okay. be like Messi over two and a half shots, Just Argentina win. Christian. Take France. You have and this then tattoo. The it's fade the boost, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's, this, uh, you know, this is not financial advice. We do not claim to blah, blah, blah. And there, boom, the yeah. lawyers. All set. All good. If anyone needs that disclaimer after hearing the three of us talk, <laughs> sue your parents, not us. <laughs> and, uh, Pavon, who do you think is going to uh, win the game just outright? Fuck, I don't know. I, I, just I, now you're gambling hard. Just you. What do you yeah. think? I think I think France is gonna win. Okay. And you hate a storyline, huh? Messi. I, I think sto- storylines are the exact opposite way that uh, they win. That's why I think France is gonna win. I assume the public will pile on Messi, and then France will win. That's what so, I assume. But but this. that's not necessarily true or right. All the time. Right. So I, I could be wrong. But generally, when the public goes in one direction, I will be like, yikes, the other way. I'm picking, I'm picking be, especially because um, the, I was picking France if they got to the final. But now we, we've heard the details of, like, some of the players getting sick. And Rabio was sick. And there's a, a, a bit of a concern. And then that, that second half against Morocco... Put, give me, gave me a little bit of concern. They looked a little gassed, uh, France. Okay, so. I, I think your comments makes me want to put money on France right now. <laughs> right now. I, I, I don't, I don't want to do anything except put money on France. Okay. So right. I was going to say, like, where the could concern the... concern stuff? I'm like, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, keep I was going to say, like, where could the audience see you? But I assume it's at a soup kitchen in two years. <laughs> 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 this is how you gambled it. <laughs> France. Oh, why did I pick oh, France? Oh. Rabio got healthy. <laughs> Uh, well, it's going to be uh, an exciting game, uh, nonetheless. Pavon, thank you so much, man. This has been... Uh, Am I getting kicked you... off because yeah. I didn't agree? Yeah, yeah. That's no. Right. no. Where, can, where can people follow you? Uh, Mr. Alex Pavone, P-A-V-O-N-E. On what? Uh, Instagram. That's... I don't have TikTok. I don't want to do TikTok anymore. You deleted your Twitter as I well. did one... No, I got Twitter again, but I don't, don't follow me on that. But I had TikTok <laughs> for one video, and I'm done. You done? You did it? I hate it. Yeah. Do I just leave? You could just leave. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Pavone, everybody. Cheers, brother.